Hey guys, this is Jim. I just wanted to do a quick review of a uh, Mac Baron mixture modern, Danish mixture, the modern mixture. Um, I'm going to do another review real quick of the uh, Gold Denmark. I'll do that one next. Um, To my palate, this um, this uh, what is it? The mixture modern. It actually has a lot of flavors of of plum cake. It's not. It's just a, not as. It's more mild. It's not as uh spicy to my palate but uh You know, in some ways, it's it's uh, reminiscent. Actually, in some ways, it's more reminiscent to Larson Old Fashioned, which Larson Old Fashioned to me has more of a has more of a butterscotchy flavor to it. Like sweet. If you're look, if you're going to look at sweet things. You know what? Now I'm not sure. It's got some flavors to me that that seem quite similar to Larson Old Fashioned. It's more mild though. The tin note's nice. It's got that dried fruit and tobacco tin note that I always like from Mac Baron. Let me see if the tin notes are the same. Okay, I'll try to clear my nose out. I'm going to smell the Larson first. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. This is... This has much more of a fruity tin note than Mac Baron does, the mixture modern. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you took, I think there's some Latakia in this plum cake. Yeah, if you take the Latakia out of the plum cake, you're going to get something very, very close to this mixture modern. The spicy Syrian Latakia in the plum cake gives it an added dimension. So with that in mind, you know, I love cobs. I love these little cobs. I get a lot, I get bagged on a lot for smoking cobs, but 
I like them. Let me look at um, I'm gonna look at tobacco reviews and see what this mixture modern gets. Any which way you cut it, this is a damn sight better than any drugstore tobacco I've ever smoked. Definitely. No doubt about it. It's taking its sweet time loading. It's a nice mellow smoke though. Big fan of the the standard mixture. The tin notes are almost identical. And I think they're priced the same too. There's some comp there's some comparable flavors. Between the mixture modern and the Scottish blend mixture. When it's all said and done, for the sheer sake of complexity, I think I prefer the mixture, the Scottish blend, as probably most people would. But if this was on the shelf at a drugstore and I had a choice between this, pretty much anything that I've gotten in a drugstore, damn near. I think I definitely, I would, no, I would definitely buy that mixture modern, that Danish mixture. Well, Tobacco Reviews isn't loading, so who cares? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a, a high 7 or a low 8. Probably have to smoke, finish the bowl, but no, I'd give it Give it a yeah, high seven, low eight. I don't think there's a lot of complexity to this blend. It's gonna sneak up on you, something you're gonna have to smoke up bowl after bowl after bowl, it's gonna emerge. I think it's just a simple smoking tobacco. It's not something you'd smoke for a special occasion, it's just something just something to smoke. Something that is quite smokable. Nothing too challenging. I think it's just Virginia's Cavendish and Burley. Some var variation. More tastes like more Cavendish than anything else, but normally flavors jump out at me and I get a big strong image. But with this, I'm not. I'm just... Just a nice smoke. So, if you're curious about it, give it a try. Um, it's cheap. You can't go wrong with the price. Of course, I paid like 12 or 13 or something like that at the local place. I could pay an arm and a leg in California, but... I don't mind buying four ounces and then giving it a try. So give it a try.